Okay guys, this is Mr. Shiny Garrus. Welcome you back to Let's Play Crisis Core. In the last part, we did missions. In this part, we're gonna do some more side stuff, but they're not exactly all missions. So let's let's start let's start doing that. Let's breathe the Let's leave the briefing room. I was about to say breathe the leaving room. Or leafing room. I don't even know. It was it was gonna end badly. Anyway. I believe we want to head into the training room because it's minigame time. I'm gonna suck because I'm recording now. But, but let's let's get it over with anyway. I think. What, is it you don't want to talk to? We're going to test your physical fitness today, Zach. It's important that we get accurate evaluations of your physical abilities. Are you ready to take the test? Is health and Daga a physical ability? <laughs> because if so, I'll pass. Let me at it. And what's the physical fitness test? Squats. Alright, it's basically a timing minigame, honestly. Where you wanna you wanna hit the X button. Right when Zack sort of hits the bottom to keep it squats going, although the more you go, the uh, faster you'll start going. Just feel the burn. It's all just, it's all timing. And then when you mess up, you gotta, you gotta start slow again. So this is where it's gonna be terrible. I'm gonna be terrible at this. Although this is the easy round one, there's four rounds. And we, we need to be all four rounds, and if I'm doing this well to start, um, does it bold well for later? Yeah. This rate, jeez, I'm gonna do so bad. I'm gonna have to cut so often. Jeez. When's the last time I never hit, f I didn't even hit 40? I don't even remember. I don't remember ever not hitting 40 before. That performance was worthy of a soldier operative, sir. No, it wasn't. Shut up, that was terrible. 37 squats, that is terrible. Set a new, new record. You get quadriceps of steel, which doesn't actually do anything. And you get Shinra launch cart specs. Now that'll actually come into play later. Uh, let's, let's do it again. Let's do round two. Versus this other one. And basically, each time you have to get more, because basically how you how you get the item is you got to beat the other soldier. And the first three guys, I've never lost to. The fourth guy, I have, because he's he's tough. He's tough. Oh man, I was doing so good. Now we gotta go slow. Yeah, so you basically want to hit X when Zach's at the bottom of his squat. And that's why when it gets faster, it's slightly harder. Though it's probably easier for most people who aren't me and suck at timing rhythm things. See, there we go. This is more like it. Hitting 40, easy. I gave it a 45. That's, that's respectable now. That's at least respectable. I don't actually know what the actual numbers on, on the first few that you have to beat are off the top of my head, nor do I remember what the last one is, but we'll probably fail and see what it is. So 45, I believe that one was like 32. Basically you just have to beat his score again. And they always get the same score. Shinra Ceramic is what we get. So it's it's more you gotta beat a certain number. Because you have to be ahead, tie doesn't count. So let's get on to number three. No, I messed it up. Right before I was gonna get some more. So I'm actually behind at the moment. I 
And I messed up. Talking during this is probably going to to mess me up so bad. Come on. Oh, I keep messing up on the change. Come on. And I just I just gonna lose to this guy, aren't I? It's I just lost to this guy. And lag. It, it the game is even shocked. You lost to this guy. <laughs> what happened, Zach? I thought you were better than that. I know what happened. Well, I guess we'll have to do that again. Yeah, I'm just gonna do it again, and I'll cut to when I beat it. Okay, I beat him on the second try, so I'm just going to leave the second try in, but I didn't talk through it, so that's how I did better, but it still doesn't bode well, because I think you have to get like 52 to beat the last guy. This is going to be... <laughs> oh, this is going to be terrible. And for that, we get Shinra Treads. So let's just go do the last guy. I'll probably... will barely talk at all during this. And then I'll just cut to when I actually beat him, so let's... Cause this guy's tough. This guy's tough. We gotta, gotta get off to a good start, Zach. Slow and steady off the start. Okay. Feel the burn. Yep. Feel the burn. Ah, uh, no. I had a good streak going. Gonna make this a lot tougher now. I like to get to at least 25 before I mess up on this guy. No! Ah, oh, that ruined it. You basically have to only be on two streaks to beat this guy. He gets 52. So yeah. Uh, you basically just need to get two... Be on only two... You can only mess up once, basically, is what I'm saying. In order to beat him. So I'm going to cut to when I actually beat him. Okay, come on. I think I got this. Come on, Zach. We had a streak of over 40 going. That's a great. Come on. Come on. 
Yeah, we're gonna get this on the second try. Yeah. 57. Yeah. Took only two tries, and yeah, I talked through the, the end of it because I was like, oh my god, I got to 40. I wasn't even paying attention to how far I got until I messed up, honestly, on that one. Uh, because it was like, I was just so in the zone. I wasn't even looking at the screen, basically. I was just such in a zone with that. So we got 57, and we get the... Oh, yeah, we get Shin Shinra Soldier. Those things will come into play later, and no, I don't want to do it. Because we got the four items we needed. The Shinra Launch Cart Specs, the Shinra Ceramics, the Shinra Treads, and the Shin Shinra Soldier. Again, those will, those will come up later. So, um, next. That didn't nearly take as long as I thought it would. Even then, you know, it wasn't going to take very long video-wise, because I, I would have cut out multiple mess-ups. But apparently, no cutting, because I did it on the second try and I have to leave in. A good attempt. Uh, come sell something about... Sh something about... Sephiroth. Let's go to Director Lizard's office. I believe we want to talk to Lizard. And we get a little optional scene here. Hello, Zach. Did you want to talk to me about something? No, not really. I'm sorry, but I'm rather tied up at the moment. The attack on our building have created far too many issues I must attend to. The security department is hounding me because Genesis, a soldier of the Zero, led the attack. Sounds like a hassle. Security's busy getting ready to annihilate both Angeal and Genesis. Wait a minute, you do know that Angeal, Angeal was in the battle trying to protect the Shinra building. He is still a risk factor. At least that's how the company views him. I can't believe what I'm hearing. If that's the way things have to be around here, I'm leaving the company. <laughs> There's always a high price to pay for freedom. The price of freedom. Remember that for like... I don't know. A long time from now in the LP. <laughs> have you heard... Have you ever thought that have you ever thought that, Director? Have you ever wanted to leave the company? Never, not once. Wow, bravo. I guess that's why you're our director. When you're trying to realize a truly worthy goal, obstacles and difficulties don't amount to anything. What sort of goal are you talking about? Never mind. That's enough chit-chat for now. I must be back, getting back to work. Or get, I must get back to work, whatever. Yeah, okay, optional scene. Done. Let's head down to the lobby. So let's go down and talk. Let's first talk to that lady that gives us uh, the ever useful free race status. So yeah, let's get a free raise. Can never have. It's never a bad idea. Okay, let's talk to this guy right here. Do you know what is needed most for the future growth of sh the Shinra company? I'll tell you what. It's Midgar's urban development. Though known as the world's greatest commercial city, Midgar still has problems that it needs to be addressed. Urban decay beneath the play and increasing Mako energy consumption are just some of the pro those problems. We at the sitting city planning department are committed to improving the lives of Midgar citizens, but as we are an unarmed group, in certain situations we find ourselves powerless. Would Shinra, would soldier be interested in extending a helping hand? Midgar's urban development, huh? Sure, I'd be happy to help you guys, just let me know whenever you need me. That unlocks new missions, although they're kind of easy, so 
Yay, let's... So that's actually what we're gonna start doing now. So let's go to missions. Because these, these are missions that you can miss out on later. I'll, I will tell you again when it's actually the point of no return. Where you, if you haven't done them, do them now. But I'm going to just do them, get them out of the way first. What we want to do is the, it's the Midgar City Development. And we want to do Slum Development Plan 1. Part of the reason I'm also doing now, they're very easy at this point in the game. As long as you've been doing a lot of missions like I have, it sh should be no problem. Although, even if you're just doing story, it probably isn't too, too bad. Oh, not the slums. Okay, there's only one treasure chest, and it happens to be right next to me, so... Or at least the only one I found. High potion. Okay, this is interesting layout. Let's just stick along the buildings. Because it's, it's very easy. The enemies shouldn't be a problem even if you run into them. So I'm just going to try and avoid them. If possible. If the camera would like to help me. Oh, there's another treasure chest. Did we get into the mark, though? I don't know. So let's just find out. It's going for Blizzara. I want that treasure chest. Okay, that wasn't the mark. Oh, well. It was a very short battle. And now we get an ether. Yay! Now let's, let's fight these. The bad eyes. Honestly, I could probably just slice them and then be down, but... Health and Daga works too. For that, we get two fat chocobo feathers. And we obtain Sector 8 Materia Shop, so let's do mail, shop news, whatever. It's just selling over so we got the shop, so let's just check out what it does real quick. That's Wu Tai Secret Shop. We want Sector 8. Gives you HP up, MP up, AP up, Drain, and Osmosis. So, it's there. Anyway, let's keep doing missions because we unlocked a new one. Basically, we have a set of six that, in order to get all of them, well, you have to beat the previous one. And to get the first one, as I showed off, you have to talk to that guy. So, let's do Slum Development Plan number two. Try and see, since they're pretty easy, if I can just finish these missions the group of them, and then we can call it apart. Although I'm not a fan of the fact that there's... this is slums. Oh well, I'll just stick to the, to the circle for now. Keep an eye out for any potential treasures. If I don't, there's nothing particularly, particularly I'd be concerned about losing, so... Ah, camera. Okay, I'm gonna go grab that treasure. And in this chest, we got an X potion. Probably should have, should have cut back a little, little sooner, but that's what we got. And that you just more the, the eye bats and the bouncy guys. Activating combat mode. And a battle that I want to cut out. Okay, let's keep moving on. Let's just keep moving on. If I miss the treasure chest I get, I'll mention them. That they're there. Uh, okay, come on. Let's just keep moving on. <sighs> okay, let's let's see if I can't avoid any more battles because they're getting kind of annoying. There's a treasure chest over here. See what's in it. Adamantite. Um, there's also a silence in a chest here somewhere. I don't care enough to get it. So, come on, let's get to the mark. Okay. And we got some replicons. Although, they're really easy at this point, so let's just beat them up and finish that. And for that, we get hero drink times two. Or two hero drinks. I'm gonna throw an ether, and then we'll do the next mission in this group. Mako Excavation Site. Okay, let's check the map. 
Ew, this is a long one despite me only marking down one treasure. Huh. Unless, like, the mark's in the middle, and there's treasure behind him if you want to sneak around him. Anyway, there is a treasure chest over there, so let's go get it. And that we get an elixir. Okay, I just want to see if there's a treasure chest on the other side of this. I doubt it, but I'm going to check. Yeah, none. Okay. Ooh, look, the bridge of no avoiding battles. My favorite. Activating combat mode. Okay, let's keep moving. That was just some hornets and some beetles. Yeah, hornets and beetles. Took me a minute to remember because they just kept going down so quickly. But let's just keep moving on. Oh, there's the mark. So I guess there was only one treasure. And some hornets. Or slaps these. They're basically just weaker hornets at this point. And for that we get two lunar harps. And for that we get Sector 5 Materia Shop. So let's get another shop news thing. And as a result, nope, I don't want to do missions yet. I want to show off the shop real quick. Sector 5 shop. Attack up, bite up, magic up, spirit up, poison, and silence. So, ooh, poison. That's... Can never go wrong with an extra poison if you need it. So let's, uh... Then keep going. Ingredients for Soma. Wait, is... Dang, if the reward for this mission is what I think it is, then this is ridiculous. Okay, it's pretty straightforward. I just want to check something real quick. We have 21 elixirs. Okay, I just want to keep a note of that. Oh, I thought there was a treasure there. I'm seeing things. Anyway, let's scoot around this rock here. Scoot around here. Or not. Activating combat mode. Okay, let's keep a moving on. That was just some slaps and some mandragores, the weaker version of the weeds. So let's see. I want to say the mark would be over there, or is it over here? Mark's over over there. So let's head the other way, because there's bound to be treasure on this path, like right here. In this, we get a silver armlet and a battle. Let's keep moving on now, shall we? It was just some birds and. There were some birds in here. However, they're the weaker version, so they don't actually absorb health on Nagas, which is always nice. Alright, now let's open this chest. Because in it we get a Fira. And now let's try and head back. Or get into a battle. Okay, let's keep moving on and try and get our way to the mark if possible. Okay, good. Avoided a battle there. So we should be able to make it to the mark as we pick up the last chest, which is a Soma. And we get to fight some birds, so I get to show off that these ones, because they're weaker, don't absorb health on Nagas. See? That was not absorbing, that was dying to health on Nagas. And for that, we get 20 elixirs. We only had 21. We basically just doubled our elixir supply from that battle alone. We've never even used an elixir. This entire, I'm pretty sure we have it, this entire LP. And we probably won't. Or if we do, it'll be so minimal, it won't matter. So anyway, let's go on to the next mission, Making Phoenix Downs. See, hopefully this is... Oh no, it's an annoying field. <laughs> oh no. I'm just gonna try and head for the mark. When in doubt, head towards the center first. 
Okay, I'm back. That was just some magic horrors. There are also death claws though, so watch out for those. Okay, now that we're up on this hill... Can I see where the mark is? The mark's all the way over there. How lovely. Okay, let's keep moving on and try and get over there. Okay, let's see if we can make it to the mark now, please. Two death claws. Okay. I'm gonna try a different strategy though. Let's just do some Hellfire Raga. Because it hits multiple times. And it takes like about a thousand ish to kill them. Or 10,000 damage. Which the Hellfire Rugs did about 5,000 so each. So, you know, it was decent. All I know is Health on Naga was just not quite enough for you. And we, for that, we got a Doctor's Code. I. F forget what it exactly does I can kind of take a guess but I want to know exactly what it does so let's go check it out automatically uses potion when HP is critically low okay I know it's something to do with potions anyway let's do the last mission in this and then we'll call that a part underground city See, this is a big one. Yeah, this is a big one. So let's try and get as much treasure as possible and avoid as many battles as possible because, quite frankly, these are just really easy, so don't really care. In this, we get a power wrist. Okay, so let's head up this way and see if there's any treasure this in this area. Doesn't look like it. So let's try heading down this way. I'm gonna pick up this treasure chest with an elixir in it. So now let's sweep down around here. So there should be a few more treasure chests to pick up, so let's sneak around this way. See if we can't find another treasure chest before we head down to where obviously the mark will be. Is there something up here? No. Maybe up here. Yeah, there. There's one up here. And we get a titanium bangle. No, don't head that way, Zach. Now we want to head towards the mark. And just get this over with. Because there's, there's the last treasure chest, not surprisingly. And it's an MP up plus, and we get our old demon friend here. Or probably a gargoyle. Gargoyle and death class. Oh my. Well good, we stopped him. So let's uh, finish off the death claw, or, or we can finish off the gargoyle first. Either one's fine. And for that we get two Luna Harps, but we do get we will get something else. Spoilers, it's another shop. We get sector six shop, and that's it for those that chain of missions. So let's check out the sector uh, six shop and we'll call it a part. It's got bronze bangles, bronze armlets, chocobo armlets, wristbands, bulletproof vests, earrings, and amulets, all these basically worst accessories but we all have better by now but they're there I guess so that's all for this part in the next part we'll continue on doing some more side stuff and a few missions here and there so this is Mr. Shiny Gyarados signing out guys have a good day and goodbye